Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn step by step method how you can create a model, how can you train a machine so that it predicts a value based upon what training has been provided. So we will be doing code step by step in which we will be creating a model, we will be training the model and once the training is done so we will check how the model is behaving what is the accuracy so we'll start with a simple example so that any beginner who want to learn machine learning his concept will be clear because we will be checking that how the dependent variables and independent variables they are connected and how we are training the model we will also discuss the different modules that are being used in Python in order to accomplish this machine learning training. So friends, let us start the video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button so that you get important updates whenever a new video is uploaded on the channel. So in this video, we will be using a Jupyter notebook in order to uh, make the program. So again, in order to open the Jupyter notebook, so it is browser based. So you just need to uh, on the command prompt, you just need to write uh, Jupyter Notebook. So I have already written <coughs> this Jupyter Notebook. And once you uh, click on enter, so this particular interface will open. And you just need to click on new. And then uh, you just need to create a new notebook, Python 3. And once you click on this, uh, you will have an interface like this. So first of all, you need to uh, rename this. So I will write... Uh, machine learning and so the title is changed now in order to implement this uh, machine learning model or in, uh, we want to create this model so first of all we need to import some uh, libraries from python and the first and the foremost library that is required in all the machine learning uh, models is pandas so you just need to write import pandas as pd so this is uh, the most important library then uh, we need uh, from met plot lib dot pi plot dot by plot as plt anything because this is just this will be used to uh, do all the uh, interactions so these are the two so in jupyter basically we have different code blocks so in order to check whether these two have been done so you just click on run so it's being done next thing is uh, we are going to create a model so we the most important library that is provided is sklearn sklearn has all the modules that are required for linear regression logistic regression all the different types of uh, regression that you need uh, you need to use this sklearn so i will write so from sklearn import linear underscore model so these are the three things that is basically required in order to train our model and then we will check the prediction so once you have uh, imported these three things just in order to check if there is an error so you just click on run and then uh, we will click on another code block so this is another code block and we will delete this particular one in if you want to delete this just go and click on this particular thing so it will be deleted and then uh, you can add as many code blocks as you want so now here we will go so what we want we want to create a model so just go to this particular csv file so what we want we just want to create a model that will predict the price of a particular flat 
based upon the area so we have just taken a very simple example so we have this area column and we have price so we have like these are the different areas in square feet and based upon that we have just given some random price so first thing is like uh, we will be uh, reading this csv using uh, pandas and then this is this basically is called a uh, dependent variable because the price is totally dependent upon the area so if the area increases the price increases and this is called independent variable so first of all what we will do uh, we will write df equal to pd dot read underscore csv and then the name of the file that is student dot csv so once this is done just check if the file has been read so you just click on run so you can see that now we have read this file using pandas and now we have both area and price so this is this particular area is independent variable and this is dependent variable so we also need to have a matplotlib so we have already matplotlib there so we will just check how this these all are scattered or how these how these will be plotted so we will write percentage mat plot lib in line and then within with 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 this particular plt uh, we will plt dot scatter then in this case we will have df dot area then df dot price and we will just check how it will look so we'll just click on run so you can see we using matplotlib uh, this is the figure that is created so we have a straight line and based upon this uh, this is our area and this is our price and it is like this so you can also change the color so if you want to write color equal to red so and again just execute this so you can see the color has been changed similarly you can also change the marker also so this is all just we need to check how it is being shown now once this is being done so the our most important thing is we are going to uh, create the model and in that model we will be putting this training data so initially once we are going to train our model we need to provide both dependent and independent variable so that it learns that whenever there is 100 the price will be this if we have 200 the price will be 50000 we have 300 square feet so this is all that we provide for uh, training purpose so i will just write so i will have a, a model so i will write uh, first of all i uh, we have this uh, linear so i will there is a model equal to linear underscore model so this particular variable you can see i have already imported linear underscore model and we are going to import linear regression so this is what we required in order to create our model so now we have our model with linear regression we just need to train the model so it will be model dot fit and what we want to give the input first enter input will be uh, df then uh, we have we will have area and second will be df dot price so these are the two things so this is the uh, independent variable and this is the dependent variable so once we will uh, input these two values so the, our model is being trained so whenever say model dot fit so here the training of the model is being done so if i click on run so so we just need to uh, create a variable so uh, we need to put this variable in a different format so you can see uh, this is model dot fit so we have provided the training data so right now since the data is like very small we have only like seven to eight so it is just for testing so we have provided all the data at one go normally like we have uh, test train split in which like uh, we give the ratio like 80 percent for training and 20 percent for uh, testing so you can see our model is ready already we have got linear regression model is ready now once uh, this is ready now we will start testing how it behaves so we will say model dot predict 
in order to check if the model is being ready and we will provide any data suppose uh, we have already uh, seen that we have uh, 700 so if i want to check up for 800 or 900 square feet so i will just click on run so you can see it is giving us the uh, value like it will be some uh, somewhere like uh, 1 lakh 20 thousand something like this so again uh, you can see it is more than this similarly we can also check how model is uh, working on the existing so if i say model dot predict so it will be so suppose i give 100 and if we'll check that okay how the training has been done so if you click on this sorry the value that is being entered is not in proper manner so i will put like this so it will be an array now if you will execute so you can see it is giving you exactly what is being trained so we have also checked what its training part and how it is uh, how it is behaving when we are giving some predict value that is not being trained so this way it works and if we want to check because uh, this is linear regression so it is based upon y equal to mx plus b so we if we want to check what is the model dot coefficient so if you run this so this is our coefficient and what is model dot uh, so we have uh, two things uh, one is your uh, coefficient and if you check the another thing like we have is intercept so if you check on intercept so just write intercept and once you run so you have these two model and intercept and once you put this in this particular formula you will get the desired result so this is basically for one value and in which you can see uh, your model is ready you are using pandas and using pandas uh, you can read the csv and why pandas are important because if we have some complex uh, calculation that are not that cannot be performed or the data is more and that cannot be handled using csv or excel file in that case we go with pandas so friends this was all about our first machine learning model and you can see at this end we have a working model that is able to predict your values based upon what the input you have provided so friends, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and we will be discussing next uh, logistic regression. Before that, we will be also uh, discussing multi variable in which we will have uh, different variables. So independent variables will be many and dependent variables will be one. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you very much.